Hello everyone, welcome back to this course and still we are dealing with the data analysis techniques. We have seen about the regression and today we are going to look at uh, the classification. And moreover we have other methods like uh, clustering, graph analytics and so on. But we'll, let's focus on classification for the time being. So from uh, regression uh, we know that we can predict a continuous value such as uh, a change in height, weight or even the housing price or the salary based on your experience. On the other hand, we can also predict say for example if a sound signal contains a human voice or not. As we have seen a touch of uh, logistic regressions as well. So we can set a kind of a threshold and we can see whether we can able to classify by means of some decision, decision rules. For example, if the probability is more than 50 percent, we decide that it is a human voice. Though at times uh, regression can slightly be used as a classifier, uh, we have uh, specific models for classify classifiers. They are very unique and they are more efficient. Let us see about those classifier models. Yes, the basic classification that we have in hand, we have seen about logic, logistic regressions. Uh, it is a kind of uh, classification methods which can classify based on the values of 0 and 1 and that is similar to that of a binary classification. Now let us consider a more detailed uh, a classifier where we have to model the classifier based on a threshold value. For example, when we have a threshold value and if the value are above this threshold value then we mark it as a viral disease or else we mark it as a normal one. You have all the parameters even for example like if you have the temperature and if the temperature is high above this threshold value we call it as fever. If it is below that threshold value we call it as not fever. And most popular place where we use this classifiers or to detect whether the email is spam or non-spam based on the text, based on the sender and all these information we can classify it as spam mail or non-spam email. What are the types of classifications that are available? Uh, Let us briefly see some of the types of classifiers. The first one is the sentiment classifier. So this classifier determines if a text is uh, positive or negative. So this can be used to determine the product reviews. For example, in Amazon if you are going to buy a product and you can see those reviews right and based on that review you can see you can classify whether these reviews are positive or negative. In the same way there are other classifiers that are available like the topic classifier. So while uh, visiting your web page uh, you can see that whether this page is a news media page or whether this web page is related to health home, decorations or recreations, science, computer, business. So based on the English text that is available in the web page we can actually classify this web page as well that is like a topic classifier. Then comes the most famous image classification. Yes, image classification is one of the prime classifier I would say because it is been used today widely even for example the satellite images can easily classify the sea region and the land region and in the land region you can classify the rivers and roads and again you can classify deserts and forest. Still there is other applications like you can classify there is a forest fire like wildfire and no fire. 
and other re regions where we classify is like for example using machine learning techniques you can classify whether is a man or a woman boy or a girl dog or a cat yes there are a lot of applications to this image classification just think about few more applications that comes to your mind in case of image classification then comes the mood classifier so as you can read the text of the writer based on the text you can see whether the state of mind of the writer is upset or happy or does he have depression and so on so these days people are using social medias and in social media they express their emotions uh, by means of uh, mostly by means of text and these text can indicate like what this person is undergoing for example based on his expressions that he has texted you can either say that he is excited or he is very happy he is having good time or else you can say that he is really upset and he has going through a phase of depression even you could say that the depression is so severe that even he might uh, who knows like take uh, an effort to commit suicide or he, he would like to be separated from everyone and so on like yes the mood classifier is has a lot of application in real time these days there are other classifiers like gender classifiers so this classifier tries to figure out if a text is written by a male or female that's um, kind of i tried to use this classifier one of the models that are available online and i found that uh, this classifier is kind of 60% uh, okay i would say which means that there's a lot of research area opened in this area like uh, to predict clearly uh, whether a person is a male or female just from the input text that he is giving but that's a hard task even for humans to uh, classify well let's see how we can model the classifier so that they can uh, take decisions uh, based on the data is available all these models like image classifiers mood classifiers or sentiment classifiers all these classifiers we have to model it based on the model uh, it would respond so today we are going to look at uh, movie reviews and let's see how to classify based on the movies reviews so the classifier that we are going to use here is the sentiment classifier or sentiment analysis the same method uh, that i have just told that it can be used for product reviews and moreover the same method can be also used for restaurant reviews say for example if you want to go for a restaurant and you are looking at the reviews written and uh, based on the reviews given you can actually take those text and see whether this text points to have some positive note or the negative note and based on that you are going to decide well this restaurant is a good one it has a good review so it is positive then probably you might go to the restaurant in the same way we have this movie reviews based on the reviews given you can classify whether it's a good movie or a bad movie so yeah movie reviews uh, yes you want to see a movie and then you want to know what is it rating uh, by the time when uh, i was looking at this movie ready player 1 i found that uh, at this time it has 8.0 reviews uh, i mean 8.0 rating imdb rating based on this 32301 uh, odds you could say so well what do the people say about this movie yes the rating itself gives us some information uh, as if it's pretty good movie but how do we classify a positive and negative reviews well given the review this classifier determines if the text is positive or negative let's see some sample reviews here so there are sample reviews three reviews are given to us and as you can see the first one says the super duper cool and exciting movie is coming up 
well the super duper cool exciting movie is in itself is kind of positive note and let us look at the second one the second reviews also gives us some uh, information about a certain positive note like it says incredibly impressive film and then it adds on to the point that it is fantastic. So these are some of the positive note that you can look at and if you want to go for certain negative note you can see still there is some negative note it is like this is definitely not for young kids right and uh, you have few more points here it says the third review it says we were very disappointed well these are some of the points that we can look at when you look at this reviews let's see how to model such classifier so you have this classification engine and uh, you have this sentiment classification and you input your reviews come and say for example super duper cool and exciting movie you are going to input this phrases this sentence into it it should produce the positive as the output. So what we are going to do is we are going to take all the reviews and we are going to break them up into sentences. You have all the paragraphs break them into sentences. So each review composed of multiple sentences and some sentence cover different aspect of the movie as we have seen some sentence says the movie is uh, has some specific storyline some it says the movie climax is not good or movie climax is good and so on. So they have covering the specific aspect of the movie some reviews. Uh, so we are going to break up all these sentences and then again you are going to look word by word to see whether this word gives us a positive note or not. That is the classifier here sentence from the review is given as the input to this classifier model and then the output is either positive review or negative review. Well we have not designed the model yet we will go to this uh, model soon and see how to design this model because the input sentence from review we already have only thing that we do not have is the actual model. So again the classifier model uh, we have several inputs like all the sentences are given as the input all the features are taken in and the output has to be labeled like the label is positive or negative that is the label that you are giving at the output. So let us look at a simple classifier model for this particular application of movie review. So here is a simple model ok you, we have the sentence from review as the input x and this input x is fed in to this classifier model and uh, this simple classifier has a threshold here. So the main objective here is that it is going to count the positive and negative words in a sentence and if the number of positive words is greater than the number of negative words then our output y is going to be positive I mean positive review else y is going to be negative. So before that we have to list the positive words and the list of negative words should be listed. Say for example fantastic, superb, great have some amazing incredible these are some of the positive words that we have and the negative words for the movies like horrible disappointed waste terrible disgusting and so on. So well these are some of the ways in which we can model it the model is very simple model in fact uh, we just use an if then else decision model 
and the decision is also based on a very simple threshold. Here, just count the number of positive and negative words and see the number of positive words is greater than the negative words or not. If it is yes, it is great, uh, it is greater than the negative words. I mean, if the number of positive words is greater than the number of negative words, then we are going to say it is a positive. This movie has the positive review or else we say this movie has a negative review. Let us see more on this. There is some issues involved with this kind of uh, threshold classifier. So, how do we get the list of positive and negative words? So, in English we have lots of words that can uh, give a positive note and lots of words that can give a negative note as well. So, uh, that is hard to include almost all the words uh, that can be formed. But basically we can try to include as many words as many words as possible. We can try to extract from a certain dictionary or other database and see to include all the positive words and negative words. But again uh, the positive words and negative words they have a different degree. For example, uh, fantastic, incredible, these are positive and definitely they have a higher degree of sentiment than that of saying, well it is good, it is very good, good movie, is not it? Yeah. So, how do we weigh the different words? That is another question that we have to ask. Then comes the other problem like sometimes single word is not enough to determine the sentiment whether it is positive or negative. For example, you have the words like uh, good which is positive and sometimes you do have not good that is negative, very good that is definitely I would say double positive. Yes, at times we have to look at the prefix and postfix words because they can really turn around the actual sentiment. So, we may have to scrutinize the features that we are looking at and we may have to model it accordingly. Okay, let us try to refine, let us try to refine our original model of this classifier. Let us see how we can do it. So, now we are going to give some weights for these words. For example, if it is good, let us say we give 1 point, if it is great we say 1.5, if it is awesome we say 2.5. If it is bad, we say minus 1.0, terrible minus 2.1, awful minus 3.3 .3 and so on. So, we will use this to train the system. Now, we are going to grade. Let us see how to grade based on the given sentence. For example, uh, you have the input as movie was incredible, the action was awesome, but the storyline is terrible. Let us say if the word uh, incredible has say let us say it has 2, point, two points and awesome has 2.5 points and uh, terrible has minus 2.8. So, when you add all those words if this value is greater than 0, we can say it is going to be a positive review. If it is less than 0, we can say that it is going to be negative review. So, that is as simple as that, but also note that there are unwanted words like uh, popcorn, cinemas, movie and these words we do not have to grade it. We can just give the weight as 0. So, based on this grading, let us uh, redefine our original classifier. Okay, now, again, now we are having our sentence from the review as the input given to this classifier and the words with their weights, respective weights are fed in to this classifier. Now, we are going to do it right, like the scores that is equal to weighted count of words in the sentence. We are going to have the weighted count of words altogether. 
if the score that we have obtained, if the score is greater than 0, we are turning out the y to be positive, else the y to be negative. That is the output is going to be positive or else it is going to be negative. Now, things are getting more simpler as it uh, covers most of the parts like because we have actually uh, modeled, remodeled our whole classifier and now this classifier looks better. Okay, so, what we are going to do here is we are going to train our classifier. So, if for example, if you have 100 reviews and I am going to use 80 reviews as the training set and with this training set, I am going to train the classifier, we are going to train the classifier. So, at this time with this 80 training set, the classifier learns how to find whether it is a positive review or it is a negative review. So, at this time with the training sets, actually the classifier is learning on making the decision. Of course, we also provide these weights to it and these weights are going to be used to score every elements in the test set that we are going to use for evaluation. And then as I told you, we have among the 100, we have 80 for the training and 20 for the test set and test sets can be fed in and uh, you can evaluate whether our classifier that has been trained using the training set has trained well or not. The evaluation can be done with the remaining uh, data sets available as the test data. So, now after training, your classifier now learned how to produce the output. Now, we are going to use the test data, let us say test example we are going to use and uh, the test that we are going to use uh, as a test sentence for example, the test review is given to us now and it says uh, the first one it says movie was great and it is given to the classifier which is already trained or it already learned classifier now and it says okay, positive, the output is positive which means that we are getting the correct output, the output is correct. And remember that right now we are hiding the true label, so only based on the output we are going to determine or compare and see the accuracy of the learned classifier. So, this is one input, let us say another input is like movie was ok. Well, the movie was ok uh, is kind of a negative sentence, uh, was ok just which means that just ok and uh, our classifier, this classifier term it as a positive review which means that it is a mistake, it is supposed to be negative, but it turns out to be positive. So, then which means that we have come across an incorrect output we have made a mistake. So, we have to do it for every sentence in the review and see how much correct information we have got, how much incorrect information and based on this we can see how good is our classifier. So, that takes us to the next slide here, we can see how good is our classifier like for example, how accurate is our classifier, the number of correct to the total number of sentences the number of correct reviews that we got with the total number of sentences, we can see how accurate it is. In the same way, if it is error is, we can also calculate the error value like number of incorrect classification that we have did like incorrect reviews that were given, the total number of sentence. So, how do we uh, determine this? Like is the classifier with 90 percent accuracy good? Not necessarily, it depends. For example, like uh, one of the data shows that 90 percent email sent at that time like in 2010 or spam 
well if we say that if I just predict that every email that is sent is a spam then we get 90 percent accuracy right just imagine you are going to classify all the emails as spam whatever email you receive you classify it as spam even if you do that which means that you get 90 percent accuracy so there is a kind of a fuzzy place where we are hard to determine the goodness of the accuracy that we have in hand. So that is where we have to see and test the system and see whether this classifier qualifies to be the better one. So for that let us look at this confusion matrix and this confusion matrix provide us some information about how it can be done. So this has true positive true negative, false negative, false positive. Say for example, I have 100 reviews and in 100 reviews suppose we have say 60 positive reviews and 40 negative reviews. If this is the case, let us say our uh, our two true positive values which in other words uh, we know that the total number of positive review is 60 that is target that our positive is 60 and the negative is 40 that is the total number. So, among the 60 positive review, our classifier correctly identifies say 50 positive reviews, it correctly identifies 50. In other words, it provides true positive 50. At the same time, our classifier has some error so that it produ produces like around uh, 10 false negative. Then we know that there are 40 negative reviews among the 40 negative reviews it correctly says that okay, 40 reviews then let us say 30 among the 40 reviews let us say 30 has been truly predicted to be negative. It gives correct, correctly predicts as the negative values, negative reviews, which means that it classified 10 as positive, which are false. So, among the 60, 50 is being classified as positive, that is true, we know that that is true, but 10 is classified as negative but that is false. So, that is why we call false negative. So, among the 40 negative we know that 30 has been classified as negative which is true. So, we call true negative and 10 has been classified as positive, but we know that that is false positive. So, in this we can actually uh, determine the accuracy of the system. We know that 80, 50 plus 30 equals 80. This 80 is our uh, correct or true classification. We have did the correct classification. So, it is like in other words I would say our classification method is 80 percent correct or accurate. So, this is a simple way to see how our system performs. So, we have seen an example of movie reviews and the same thing can be applied for other applications as well. As well. So, the classification is a very simple way and it is a very powerful machine learning methods that can be used for classifying different things based on the different application. So, why do not you try using this classification methods and see how you can use this classifier for predicting 
and uh, trying to see the trueness of the classification and see how accurate your, your classification works. So that's a very important part in our data analysis. This classification, classifying the group is quite important. So next we are going to see about the clustering methods. So until then, have a nice time. Goodbye.